Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, part of Summer of Shantae. On the last episode, we completed the Twinkle Palace and got ourselves a new transformation, which is... The... Harpy Transformation, which allows us to fly everywhere. It is so good, I love the Harpy. It also has a really nice design, I, just, I really like the... I kind of like, uh... Part of the Harpy's design actually kind of reminds me of, like, the, uh... I forgot what they're called, but like, Terra in Final Fantasy VI, she becomes a, like, Esper or whatever that was. It kind of reminds me of that. I really, I really like the design of, uh, of Harpy Shantae. But there was also some bad things that happened last time, because Risky Boots was actually posing as a genie, and she stole all the stones from us. The Dribble Stone, the Golem Stone, the Simmer Stone, and the Twinkle Stone are all gone, because Risky took them. So we need to go get them, we need to find out where Risky's hiding, but uh, in order to do that we need to go talk to Uncle Mimic, because he'd probably know the best place to track down that terrible lady pirate. However, we're not going to be doing that this episode. We are going to be going after a lot of the collectibles we have not gotten yet, such as extra heart holders, the fireflies, and baby warp squids that were in previous dungeons we could not get to, but now that we have all the transformations, it should be a cinch. Before we leave Mount Pointy, actually, we're going to actually fly up here with Harpy form, because up in the ceiling of Mount Pointy, there is a heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, I just got- I got distracted by the background, because, oh, just look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Be careful flying up here, because there are spikes, and, um, that can happen. That's why be careful. So now I have to be very careful, otherwise it's gonna get a game over, but luckily I just did save with Mr. Save Guy down there, so it's not a big deal. I recommend you save Mr. Save Guy down there, just to be safe. Because this is definitely probably one of the most tricky to get uh, heart holders, just because of the spikes. But now we have it. Hooray! Our hearts have been increased by one. We are only missing one heart holder then, so we are close to getting all of Shantae's health. Awesome! Let's talk to Save Guy. Can we? Like, you can't save when you're transformed. <laughs> save Guy does not like non human things. Good thing we're half human. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't let us save. Nah, Sage Guy's a nice guy. He's just kind of like, what is this crazy thing in front of me? Why is a monkey talking to me? Why is an elephant talking to me? Why is a spider talking to me? I think the harpy's probably the most humanoid looking, but I guess he's probably like... He's already told the monkey the spider and the elephant off, so he's probably like, I should probably do the same for the harpy. Gosh, this background just looks so... Oh. And then it changed. Not a bad background, either. That's just like, that's really cool what they did, because it's technically an ice area, so it made it look like he had the northern lights in the background. Which is, that's so cool. Unfortunately, we're actually done here. Ooh, wait, no, we're not actually. Wait, yeah, we are, because we got we also got a firefly there last time as well. So we're done with Mount Pointy. What we're going to be going to now is we're going to be trying to navigate our way back to Bandit Town, so we can use, uh, put the baby warp squids into a nice uh, baby warp squid hut. Or I can get killed. This is the game over screen! <laughs> Harpy Shantae is great, but she is a bit hard to control, so it's kind of a thing you have to be careful about. Luckily, when you get a game over, everything's fine, you start from where you last saved. You still keep any anything you had on you, so if you got new collectibles or whatever, if you said continue, you'd still have them on. You just have to start from wherever the heck you saved last. So that could be a little problematic in some regards, but it's honestly not that bad. The only thing that's annoying is you have to wait for about, like, five seconds to have Risky's, uh, entire body just kind of scroll on up, just like, Hey, Risky, ha ha ha, game over, ha ha, you're dead. Joke's on you, Risky, I can just hit the continue button. Hee hee hee. So, let's try to get the Bandit Town a bit, uh, a bit more safe this time. That'd probably be a good idea. Jeez, yeah, this is the thing, is that the, because they give you Harpy at this point, they're like, let's put spikes everywhere to make Harpy not so freaking broken. That's kind of a good idea, but at the same time, it's also, like, it's super stressful. <laughs> and not to mention very mean. Now, there is actually, I believe, a firefly here, if it becomes night. I'm not quite sure, so here's what we'll do. Since we're after the collectibles right now, and even though we're going back to Bandit Town, I think it would be a better idea just for me to wait to be have it be night, so we can collect the collectible here. So... I will leave the game running for just a little bit, and I will cut away to once night to let you see the firefly up here, and we will get the firefly, unless of course it wasn't here. In which case, this is entirely pointless. See you in just a few seconds.
And I was wrong. Huzzah! Oh. Gotta actually hit the damn thing first. But I do believe there is a firefly in this area, so... Just talk to those bats. Talk to these bats. And... Ah, uh, hi bats. How are you doing? I know that you're like... You're being bats and stuff, but I don't really care to... There it is! There's the firefly. <laughs> It is a bit annoying that fireflies can only show up during the night time, so it's going to be a bit of a tricky trek for that. So from this point on, I'm going to stop using Harpy for a little bit, just to be a bit more safe, since Harpy's been a bit of a, a blunder in some regards. <laughs> Harpy's amazing! It screws up with Harpy terribly. Freaking spikes! I do not like instant death spikes. Instant death spikes are lame, especially if you can't see when they're coming. And I, okay, I thought I was going to make the exact same mistake. And that would have sucked. So let's use the uh, Spider Shante. So we have to deal with that problem once again. And let's get to Bandit Town finally. So we're gonna go to Bandit Town, then I was like, oh, let's go and do this. Let's take detour, and do take another detour, and then another detour, and so many detours that we just kind of forgot what we were doing. Bandit Town should be our number one priority, though, I think. Hi there, bat. Okay. Bye there, bats. Bat, you leave me alone. You leave me alone, you bat. I don't like bats. But that should be, uh... Hopefully known by this point. <laughs> so, at Bandit Town, we want to go find the Warp Squid Hut, which is that one. It has a nice little squid mark on it. And we'll hand over four of the five Warp Squids that we picked up. We found a baby. It's, yeah, it's totally yours. It doesn't matter that we found it, that you're in this, like... Eagle Place, and we're, we found these from the Ice Place. They're totally yours. Don't worry about it, ma'am. It's completely fine. These are your babies. I mean, even if they weren't, um, now they're gonna call you babe. They're gonna call you mom, and you'll be fine. You'll raise them, and they'll be just perfectly dandy. To be quite honest, we're actually not gonna be needing to come back to Bandit Town for much not that I know of. So, uh, as much as we've learned the dance, it's kind of like, yay, but uh, we don't really need it to use for much, unfortunately. <laughs> I, uh, so, let's get back outside of the gates, because at this point, we're going to use one of our warp dances. We're going to warp to Oasis Town and begin a bit of a loop around the world map so we can go and get fireflies and heart holders and all that good stuff. Looks like I said go to Oasis Town first for some reason. All right. While we're here, though, might as well make sure we get a, uh, a nice bath in and save, just to be safe, just because, you know, I got a game over on this freaking episode. <laughs> I try to be a bit better at this, but uh, I do admit that sometimes this last bit of the game does get pretty fairly difficult, so be aware of the difficulty, I guess, kind of spike, not so much, it's just more of me just... Uh, Probably more that I just haven't played it as much as I've played other parts of the game, so I'm just still not as uh, knowledgeable of what's going on compared to other areas. So, let's go to Oasis Town. We need it to be night, so let's keep it night. Uh... I said Oasis Town? Did I mean Scuttle Town? I think... Oh, no? And go... Oh. Stupid, I said go west. West is the other way. I wrote west and east in my notes, and I should have just wrote left and right in my notes. Stupid. So, in Mudbog, just gonna ignore you. Ignore, ignore. We have to do this fast, so taking. I'm gonna tank the hits just for the sake of uh, timeliness. Oh boy. But I can't. If I jump into the evil mud, whatever, that's not gonna be good. So, oh, is it is it up here? Ah, shoot. So I have my notes, but unfortunately I have not actually practiced part of the game. I have just took notes on where things are. Oh, and it became daytime. Thanks, game. That was lovely. Alright, well, we'll do what we did earlier. We're just gonna wait for night to pass. So, or night to come, rather. Wait for day to pass. I will see you all in just a few seconds. I apologize for doing these weird little cuts. But I feel like this is going to be the easiest, because otherwise it's just going to be like, let's keep wandering around until they show up, and that's just not going to be as fun for you, I'm sure. So, I will see you when it becomes nighttime.
All right, it's become nighttime, so... Still the wrong area. Oh, there's those anteater things. Those guys are terrible. They're bad news. They are bad news. I'm not sure why I didn't use Harpy in the first place, actually. I believe, then, it's over here? What? I'm, I, something I have to hit Climb with Monkey. Oh, Futterbutts. This is going to look so bad. I apologize in advance for all of this nonsense, but... Uh, what? Well, that's, that's, that's an anteater thing. That's not a firefly, but it, it looks like one. Stupid guy throwing me off. Alright. Where is... Where is the silly thing? Like, is it... No, no. That's, that's the anteater again. That's another anteater. Creepy, creepy, glowy anteaters. Was it much earlier? It, oh, must have been. Okay, ah, Jesus. All right, well, there's nothing we can get here if we just go all the way up in the night of mud bog, ignoring these two guys. And just keep flying for a little bit. We should find some pillars of some sort that are not showing up. Maybe I'm too high up. Aha, there we go. Spider venom, and this is a talisman. It will allow us to attack in spider form. Very nice. You know, that's creepy. Some mud bugs may have, like, giant... the remains of giant bugs. That's, uh... That is a nice thought. Very nice thought, indeed. So, maybe it's much earlier than I thought. It's like... It's like up here? There we go! We found it. I'm not terrible, I'm just completely clueless. Which kind of are synonymous, but... They can go hand in hand, I suppose. Well, which is what I actually just said. So we'll go with that first one, actually. <laughs> now from here, we want to actually warp back to Scuttletown. So we'll do just that. By doing the uh, down, up, left, right, the kind of Konami code dance. We'll go in here and take a nice hot bath while also saving, because that's a good thing to do, and all that good stuff. And then we're going to get a few items in Scarecrow Fields, and that'll probably be the end of this episode, and we'll just finish the tour off next time. But let's go get those items first before I start talking about that kind of stuff. In fact, I don't think we need to save right now, because this is the early part of the game. It should be perfectly fine. We should not have any problems whatsoever. Hopefully. Alright, so, as long as we keep it night, we can find our first Firefly, hopefully just uh, around the bend. So please stay night. Wow, game. Just wow. <laughs> Alright, with Harpy, though, we can go up here and find another talisman, which is the Harpy Claw. This will allow you to attack in Harpy form, so now all of your forms can attack. Of course, since Harpy can fly, that means you can attack in the air, making Harpy probably one of the best transformations, despite how unruly it is with the, the attacking and whatnot. I mean, with the movements and whatnot. So we're going to wait right here, just once more, cut away to one's nights, because there'll be a firefly. Apologies in advance. See you in just a few bits. Get it? Because pixels are like bits, and it's an 8-bit game. Ah. Alright. Nighttime has fallen, so the fireflies should be around this area. It should be, like, you should be, able, like, if you're traveling through night through Scarecrow Fields, you may have already found it. But it shouldn't be too hard to find. You don't really need any transformation to get it. It's just on some raised platforms. Like there. Ta-da! Now with the five fireflies in tow, I'm gonna head back to Skulltown, uh, do some uh, healing and saving. I'm also going to off-screen do a lot of uh, money grinding with the dance minigame, so I highly recommend you do that, because we're going to be going after the fighter's gear as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Let's Play Shantae! If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below, and if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. 
As I've always mentioned, these games, Shantae, Shantae Risky's Revenge, and Shantae and the Pirate's Curse are all available on the Nintendo 3DS. Please give them a shot because they are fantastic games, and uh, I think you'd probably enjoy them. Anywho, thank you all very much for watching, hope you're having a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, let's vote Shantae for Smash! Ciao!